special guest, Kelly. Yes, thanks, Jeremy. That sounds so good. You're making me hungry. What about you, Michael? Yes, that I'm sounds... There. <laughs> I'm there. I'm there. Yeah, all, right. all right, I'd like to introduce you to producer, director, and writer Michael Johnson. Welcome. Thank you for coming Thank in you. this morning. I appreciate it. It, it was very early morning. Wasn't it, it is an early yeah. morning. Yes, it is. Now, Michael, you've done a lot in your life, and uh, right. we could cover that, but then we wouldn't have time to talk about what you're here to talk about, which is your latest film called The Ball Knobbers. Right. Tell us about what, what is, first of all, there's a music show called The Ball Numbers that is based off of the original uh, vigilante group, but talk about The Ball Numbers. The name is based off the original right. vigilante group, it otherwise has nothing to do with the, the real story. Basically, I moved here about 17 years ago, and I began to hear stories about the origin around the hills and what was going on. And people don't understand, they say, well, Ball Number, what does that mean? I'm, uh, real quickly... Ball Knobbers is a plain or open area on top of the mountains in, in, in Missouri. And um, they call those Ball Knobs. So the vigilantes, as you call them, they were called the, uh, the League for Law and Order originally. But because they met on top of the mountains in secrecy so they could see all around so no one would bother them, um, the locals began to call them Ball Knobbers. Mm -hmm. Now, the movie itself is two hours and 34 minutes long. That's a long movie. It is a long movie, and this is your trailer here as we're talking. Okay. Um. Uh, the uh, Angela Sauber Stevens is my associate producer over marketing and media. Curtis Copeland is our historian and uh, also my associate producer, and he helps write the screenplay. So we have basically 82 <laughs> actors in the film. We have over 200 writers in the film, over 500 extras, and we shot at 46 locations in Arkansas and, uh, and around this area also. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been amazing how much the people and the cities. For example, we hung three people on the square in Harrison, Arkansas. They closed down the streets, put dirt on the streets for a weekend even. And we had a crowd of, uh, of background actors and things like that. And so we, we did a, a major, major scene there. So it, it's been six years in the making of this movie. I never would have thought that. Yeah, it took a long time for it to come together. A long time. And, and mainly because, you know, everyone works for a living. Right. So we have some entertainers from the uh, Branson area mm -hmm. that are in the film. Mel Barber plays the lead role of Nathaniel Kinney, who was the person that, that created the Ball Knobbers. There were 30 to 40 murders in Taney County alone after the Civil War, mm -hmm. and nothing was ever done about it. So this one uh, guy, Nathaniel Kinney, decided he would take the matters in his own hands. He formed 13 guys that grew to be 1,000 strong riders on horses. Oh and they were known in England, they were known in New York, all, and so it's an amazing, amazing story. Now, as far as distribution is concerned, we are out. Uh, to our surprise, I thought, you know, it would do locally. We'd sell mm -hmm, DVDs sure. and things like that. But we had six offers from uh, California companies, and um, Random Media picked it up, and, and they're working through Orchid uh, Distribution. So we are in 30 global markets around the world. We're on Amazon, we're on Walmart streaming, Redbox, uh, Google Play, a lot of them. And so that is amazing to us on how far it's gone. So yeah, if somebody wants to see the movie, it's it's definitely out there. And you can get it, you can get sure, it on you, Redbox, or how else can they get it? Well, you can go to Bear Creek Productions. We have it on sale online there. And again, Amazon and... Uh, a few others is just uh, contact us and let us know. One little thing I'd like to mention though, right. uh, we have another movie in operation now, it's called okay. My Mother's Sons. And uh, we're just starting with that. And we're looking for some young male actors okay. from anywhere from five years old mm -hmm. to 13 years old. And we need to audition these young people. Okay. And this movie will begin shooting this summer uh, in this local area. And it's about three young boys growing up in the 19, early 1950s and how innocent and simplistic life was at that time. And so this is another true story you're putting together. This is another true story. Uh, it actually took place in Texas, but we're making it take place in Missouri. Well, you can do that. That's right. So where would they contact Bear, Bear Creek Productions? You can send it to uh, your resume or, or contact me at producer417 
at gmail.com. Producer417 at gmail.com. You got it. All right, well, that sounds good. That's up and coming. But this is a great, uh, the Ball Numbers is a great story. I think, of course, local people would be very interested in it. Um, and, and obviously, it's gone well, larger than that. It, it, it has it. I'm kind of in shock over it because I've ordered and ordered and ordered more DVDs mm -hmm. to stock just for BearCreekProductions.com. But uh, it is, it's, it's amazing that we're hearing from people from other countries and things. Uh, what's amazing to me is no one has slammed the movie. This is an independent, right. low-budget production. And, and uh, I've had people tell me just this week, that, look, I've watched it ten times already and I never get tired of it because this is our land, this is our right. country, it happened here. Right, I'd like to actually watch it myself. I'll get with you. I, I know somebody I that can get me. Oh, you did. There I you go. I'm, I'm anxious to watch it because um, my family, I'm local. My family mm -hmm. is in and around the Sparta area and all around these parts. And right. um, um, I'm kind of connected with that. what started the Ball Knobbers years ago. And we won't go into that now. But um, it's just a really interesting story. And so it was about justice. It was. It was about... Uh, after the Civil War, bushwhackers pretty well took mm -hmm. over this country, and one sheriff could not cover 600 square miles. Right. So that's why a band of group got together to do the right thing. Now, the, 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 the hook in the story yes. is sometimes when you get too large, power tends to yeah. corrupt and yeah. skew things. So. so they started out trying to fix or right a wrong and then it kind of grew into something a little out of their control. Yeah, we do not take sides in the movie, left or right. right. I, I mean, there it's just the way it was. Some be people believe they did exactly the right thing. Other things, uh, other people believe that since they became so powerful, they took a left turn along the right. way. Well, so, you'll let the audience decide that, Michael. This, this exactly looks like right. a great production. It, uh, it looks fantastic, and I'm Thank anxious to, to look at it. Thank you so much for coming I on. It. Thank and, you. Uh, Thanks for the copy that you're going to give me. I will leave it with you. Get in touch with him if you're interested in being in this film. Give him your email one more time. It's producer417 at gmail.com. Producer417 at gmail.com if you'd like to be in his next film. Thank you so much. All right, lots more to come on Ozarks Fox AM. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Yes. Thank you for bringing me a coffee.